In this section, we are going to see the various steps which are involved in initial setup of our big IQ system. Let's get started. Once we have the image, if you double click on it, you will get an option of import. You can choose any name that you want. In my case, I'll be selecting as per my role, which I'm giving to the big IQ. So big IQ dash 7.1.0 dash CM. CM is referring to centralized manager. Then I'll click on import. I'll get a pop-up for accepting the license agreement. We just click on accept and the import process will get started. Once the import is completed, you will see the screen similar to this, in which it will be showing as the memory as 16 GB, processor as four, and hard disk as 95 GB. You will see three different interfaces. The, the first interface refers to the management interface of Big IQ. The second is for internal, and the third is for external network. You can leave them to bridged, or map them to any in network interface as per your infrastructure. After this, when we'll click on power on this virtual machine and we'll get this pop-up. I'll just click on OK. The initial boot up process will get started. Once the boot up is completed, you'll get a login prompt. In here, we'll be using the CLI credentials, which is a root as the username and default is the password. After logging in, you will observe that it is showing as big IQ and no license. In order to verify the version that it is currently running on, we just use the command cat cat is a Linux command and version is the file which is on your F5, which shows what is the current version of any specific F5. In order to check the management IP address of this F5, we'll be using the command as tmsh list sys management dash IP address. If you're new to F5, this command is common across all the platforms. TMSH is the part which lets you go inside TMOS shell. List is the command. Sys is the module. And management dash IP is the component within your Sys module. This will give you the current management IP address of your platform. With this, we have completed the initial bootup. 